Welcome to 3MM. Let's learn about dynamic memory allocation. Let's start with general example regarding food wastage. We often we often see uh, this issue, right? And get worried about how much food we waste. Okay. For this, you must know first how much food you can have and serve it accordingly, and then you can have it so that food doesn't gets wasted. Now, memory wastage. Consider it uh, int a of eight. Eight blocks of memory is utilized for this, but I have used it for storing only four values: seven, eight, six, five. That is, we have used a of zero, a of one, a of two, and a of three. Now, what about a of four, five, six, seven? They gets wasted. Now, we have a solution for this. It is dynamic memory allocation concept, where we allocate memory at runtime. For achieving this task, we have four different functions in dynamic memory allocation. They are malloc calloc realloc and free available in std lib .h header file or alloc .h header file using malloc function the syntax is pointer variable is equal to data type asterisk we need to mention what type of data we are about to store in that memory and then related to pointer we write asterisk then keyword malloc is Uh, and uh, in brackets we write a uh, uh, size and in terms of bytes for example for this dma we need to declare a pointer variable first then p is equal to int asterisk malloc of 20 here 20 bytes of memory will be allocated or we can write like p is equal to int asterisk malloc of n comma size of int here n value to be taken at run time now let's have an example program on malloc to accept n values main declare pointer variable and n enter n value read 3 using scanf now uh, let's allocate memory for three variables using malloc that is p is equal to int asterisk malloc of n into 2 n is 3 here entering three values starts i is equal to 0 entering 7 into p plus i that is p plus 0 address next 82 p plus 1 address And next, six to p plus two address, loop ends. Next, free of p. It is used to deallocate the memory of p, and you can view the output. Next, calloc. The syntax be like. It is similar to malloc function pointer data type asterisk calloc of n comma size. In calloc, we use two arguments. N specifies number of elements, and size specifies each element size. And the default value for calloc are zero. For example, int asterisk p p is equal to int asterisk calloc of ten comma two. Ten elements with two bytes will be allocated. Or you can also write like p of int asterisk calloc of n comma size of int. N elements, each element size be the size of int. Calloc example to accept n values. It is similar to the previous program. The only difference is we use calloc keyword and two arguments n comma two, and everything is similar realloc the term realloc is used to allocate memory again which is allocated by either malloc or calloc before the syntax be like syntax is equal to i mean pointer is equal to data type realloc pointer variable comma new size for example first allocate using malloc or calloc then change it by p is equal to int realloc of p comma 20 so 20 will be the new size in this example program We allocate memory using malloc with two bytes. Later, we reallocate memory for p with n bytes. Next to free, it is used to deallocate the memory that is allocated to the pointer variable. For syntax, free of pointer. Example, I mean uh, the allocated memory using the malloc is uh, I mean freed now. I mean it is deallocated. Thanks for watching our video. For more videos, do subscribe to our channel 3MM 3 Minutes Master. If you like, hit the like button and bell icon there and do share with your friends. Don't forget to drop a comment.